Hi, welcome to today's tutorial. I'm going to show you how to convert a bunch of files that are RGB, a bunch of pictures that are RGB, and turning them into CMYK images ready for print. Now this whole, um, this whole tutorial is so good, especially if you have an InDesign file that has several amount of pictures in it and they're all RGB and you need to convert them to CMYK quickly. And, you know, if you've got 100 pictures, you don't want to have to go in manually and um, make it CMYK. That's just too much work. So naturally, as a DMer, we like to find shortcuts for things. So what you're going to want to do is open up Photoshop. And once you have it open, you're going to want to go ahead and open up the first image that's in that file. So these are the pictures that I want to become CMYK. So, um, yeah, just open up one of the pictures. And when you do that, um, it, you know, it links to that one folder. So don't worry about the other pictures right now. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is create something called an action. Now, actions are absolutely fantastic because if there are times where you are doing something that's just very repetitive to this, to like, you know, maybe 50 or 60 photographs, it's, it can get out of hand really quickly and you forget what you're, where you're going, who's, what's next, and you just have all these tabs open and it can get really, really frustrating. It slows your computer down. Just not good. So, as you can see, there are some presets of actions that, um, that your Photoshop software already has. And it's great. You can play around with them. I really recommend it. But you can also create your own, which is exactly what we are going to do. So, um, as you can see, I already kind of created a few um, RGB to CMYK things, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to show you again how to um, how to go ahead and create a new action. So, for your own sake, I recommend that you name the action exactly what you want it to do, <laughs> rather than just a silly name, because then later on it gets confusing. It's similar to um, labeling your layers in Photoshop and Illustrator and stuff like that. It just helps you keep organized. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click record. Now, while it's recording, you're going to want to go up to image, mode, CMYK. Obviously, you click OK. All right, so you see here it just said convert mode. So now it is recognizing the step of switching it to CMYK. And that's great. Um, also, highly recommend that you say um, file save as a JPEG because if you don't do that and you click stop, it's going to um, open up that JPEG um, little selection box for every image and you're going to have to click OK. And if you've got like a thousand pictures, you know, it's going to start blurring together and it's going to be really frustrating. So if you go ahead and do that now and save it as a JPEG file, um, you won't have to do it later for every single one. All right, so now we can stop the recording. We have this little action here, RGB to CMYK. Look at that, it's just sitting right there. It's beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to go to File, Automate Batch. And this is where you can get all of your lovely little folders to um, do what you want it to do, and it's fantastic images. This is the file that you want these images converted from. Now that you have the source of the files that you want to change, you can pick a new folder. I highly recommend this um, because if you don't, then your images are going to kind of um, get together and become disorganized. And if you really just want to have a nice clean look, then I really highly recommend you do this. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to name it CMYK Images and say one digital serial number. But as you can see, there's a ton of different options here for all of your OCD needs on what you would need to call it. And press OK. So now it's going to go through and it's going to pick each picture in that file that I chose and make it CMYK. You can see it's going through the different steps right here that we recorded earlier. And it's going to make my life so much easier. And look at that. I think it's done. Now, obviously, with the more pictures you have, 
the less likely that it's going to be as quick as that. But now, as you can see in my images to folder, I'll open up one of the images here. It is now CMYK. Now that is, this is something that I think is very beneficial to anybody who's going to be working a lot in Photoshop, just knowing these actions and knowing how to make these actions because um, it can save a lot of time. Great, well, if you like this tutorial, be sure to comment and um, happy Photoshopping.